What is up there, Lego fans? Welcome back, Alex here. Today we're looking at a vacuum cleaner. This is a vacuum from Clean My Bricks uh, that I guess is designed specifically to clean your bricks, specifically your Lego bricks. Let's go ahead and take a look at this thing inside. Here it is, very, very nice. Take it out of the, the plastic here and uh, well, just like a nice uh, little pistol uh, we have here. Very nice handheld device. And I'm guessing that's the trigger. Let's see what happens if it comes pre-charged. It does, and I can feel the wind hitting me just from that angle. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's the logo, Clean My Bricks. Very, very cool. And actually, it does have some heft to it. It doesn't feel cheap, uh, so I guess that's a good sign. Let's see what else we get in here. We get some attachments. We got the little roller here. Uh, looks like no wheels on this thing. It's just kind of a, meant for a, a flat surface there, I'm assuming. Really, really nice. And we got a nice, ooh, a nice brush attachment. It's very soft, actually. I like that. Uh, we'll see how that works, right? Let's see, we have the uh, a USB charge cable. Where would that, oh, there it is right there at the bottom. There it is, very, very nice and easy to find, I guess. And we got one more attachment here. All right, really nice extension arm. Any, anything else, I think that was it. We get a instruction a little pamphlet thing here with the instructions on how to use this thing and what the parts are in various languages. All right, I don't need that, I'm a man. I know what I'm doing, right? <laughs> oh man, famous last words. Okay, oh, oh, I think I unlocked it, oh. Oh, I see what I just did. I, I opened up the uh, the cartridge on the inside. So there's our filter. Uh, there we go. Wasn't planning on doing that this soon in the video, but hey, there you go. There's the uh, filter right there, nice and clean at the moment. And we just kind of stick that in there in the teeth and throw it sideways and it's done. Seems a little loose though. I, think so. I guess it, uh, it's okay, but uh, let's see, we get the extension on there. See, there, there you go. There, maybe, maybe, there, there we go, all right. And then I don't see it being used, I, I, what I anticipate is using this brush right here a lot because of those hard to reach areas. So let's go ahead and find a dirty Lego set and see how well it works. So taking a look at Darth Vader, you can definitely see a thin layer on there for sure. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, give this thing a proper test and see how well it does. So after that first run through, there was some dust remaining on some of the uh, nooks and crannies of the helmet of Darth Vader here. Uh, so what I decided to do was I took another pass and more aggressively with the brush, kind of pushed harder down around it, and that was able to get the dust off that I was uh, not able to on that first pass. So I guess some dust is going to be a little more stubborn, uh, but I was a little, I was really um, disappointed that it didn't take all the dust off of that first pass. Uh, so apparently, in some cases, you have to be a bit more aggressive uh, with the uh, pressing of the brush and the amount of pressure you put on. So if you just like a light brushing like that, it's not gonna do it. What I was doing was actually pushing it against it like this pretty hard uh, with a kind of a circular motion and that was able to get the dust out just fine. Now, as always, there's the inevitability that we will suck up Lego pieces like this. Now, I gotta say, there's something satisfying about vacuuming up Lego pieces. But anyway, so they're inside the vacuum. How do we get them out? Well, we open it up just like that, remove our filter, and there are our missing pieces that we've sucked up. Now, granted, they'll be a little bit dirty in there with the dust all around there, but no harm done to our Lego pieces. We throw them back in there, and we can put our vacuum back together. Here's our filter, uh, nice and easy, and there it goes. And we can get back to our vacuuming business. Pricing on this is somewhat interesting because it depends on the color choice that you select for your vacuum. There are three uh, different colors that they offer you. The first one here is the white one, and that is the cheapest one, that is $39.99. We then go up to the uh, black one, which is what I was given here, and that is $48.99. And then, just for $1 more, at $49.99, you can buy this very fancy green vacuum. I have no idea why there's a difference of $10 between just a change in color, uh, that being the case, I I would obviously just recommend getting the white one because that's definitely gonna be the biggest bang for your buck. So I had this thing going for about 10 minutes straight, just kind of walking around my city and uh, you know just uh, vacuuming surfaces of my buildings uh, and other trains and vehicles and things of that nature. And take a look at how much uh, dust this thing has been able to pick up. And you guys know I keep my city pretty clean, um, but that 
is a fair amount of dust that this thing is sucked up. That's pretty impressive. Uh, so they, they just give you this one filter uh, with your purchase. Uh, they do sell additional filters for you uh, at about, I think it's like 15 bucks a pop there. Uh, but uh, that's probably something that you're gonna wanna do is get an extra filter if you guys go this route because that first filter is probably gonna get filled up with dust pretty quick. So I will say this guys, as a vacuum, this thing sucks. And I mean that of course in a good way. If you want anything to suck, you definitely want it to be your vacuum. Now I still recommend as far as the, the the, the long, like uh, smooth surfaces of your of your Lego, um, that a Swiffer duster is fantastic. That, that is a great way of capturing dust uh, in your city. Um, however, I will say, as far as capturing dust, uh, that is in those nooks and crannies, those corners, those buildings, your vehicles, your trains especially, um, this thing works very, very well. And I will say though, you probably have your household vacuum as well, and it's probably got a nice horsehair attachment as well that does very good at capturing dust as well. However, if your vacuum is like mine, I have a Dyson, for example, and I love my Dyson. It is a fantastic, phenomenal vacuum, and it makes me feel tough when I'm using it. However, it is extremely expensive. So if you want an affordable option uh, for something that's definitely gonna capture dust, well, this handheld vacuum should work pretty well. Now, of course, uh, the uh, the Clean My Bricks team did send me this uh, for review, uh, and as always, they're uh, advising me that, hey, Alex, uh, show your viewers this and show them how awesome it is, and it's it's good. I mean, it's a good handheld vacuum. Uh, if you guys want to pick it up, they are offering you offering you a discount on it. Uh, so at checkout, you can use Alex10 or Alex10, and that'll give you a 10% discount on their uh, their. Uh, their website. So anyway, that's it. A nice uh, affordable option at cleaning your uh, bricks. <laughs> Clean my bricks. I love it. And uh, that is my review, guys. A quick look at a vacuum that sucks. How about that? All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.